All right, so I'm going to teach you how to set up for local anesthetic lab, how to set up your tray for giving local anesthetic in lab or with a patient. So first of all, let's start with the cart. You want to separate the dirty side from the clean side. And I like to make sure that uh, the dirty side stays over the bib, and that's kind of my delineation between what's dirty and what's clean. So each time you come to lab or each time you're going to give local anesthetic to a patient, you're going to assemble your syringe. If you're going to be doing the top, the maxilla, it's a good idea to have two syringes set up because it usually takes more than um, a few injections to get the patient numb. So I like to have two set up. If you're doing the mandible, you basically just need one. So you're going to have your syringes on here, all assembled, ready to go. You've tested them out. The harpoon's engaged, they're good to go. You also want to have on your tray the topical ready to go. I have several Q-tips here because this would be if we were doing a maxillary quadrant, there's several injections that it takes. You want enough topical for each injection and then one extra Q-tip to point with. So however many injections you plan to give, that's how many Q-tips you want with topical on it plus one extra. And I wanted to show you, this is about the amount you want, okay? And you wanna make sure that the topical gets to the end of the Q-tip and not just stays on the side because you want it to be able to actually make it to the tissue when you engage the cotton onto the tissue. This is too much. Okay, that's a waste and it's just gonna make the patient salivate all over. Okay, so we've got our Q-tips with our topical. However, let's say you have an afternoon appointment and you wanna to go to lunch. Don't set up the topical before you do that because it'll be all dried out by the time you get back. Make sure that you don't set up your topical until you know no longer than 20 minutes before the actual appointment when you're gonna use it. All right, so we've got our Q-tips with our topical. We've got a Q-tip to point with. We've got our syringes. We've got gauze, extra gauze, okay? Before you give any injection, you're gonna debride the area, you're gonna debride the tissue. So you wanna make sure that you've got enough gauze on your tray, and when you actually use it to debride with, you want another square to be able to use to retract with. So you want a couple of squares on your tray. And I'm just gonna show you how I situate the gauze for retraction. I like to fold it into thirds and make it kind of match my finger so when I go to retract, it's not sticking out too much because what you don't want is just to grab the piece and retract. You've got all this extra gauze, you're gonna hit the needle on it and it's gonna get in the way. So fold it nicely and keep it nice and tight under your finger. All right, so we've got our gauze squares on there, our topical, our extra Q-tip. And last but absolutely not least, the most important thing that you have to have on your tray is cotton pliers. Locking pliers is what they have to have for boards. If you don't have this on your tray in lab, you're gonna get marked down from day one because this is really important. If you don't have this on your tray at boards, you're, um, you're not gonna be allowed to give your injection. And when I put the cotton pliers on the tray, I like to hang them off the edge like that so the very tips don't get contaminated that way, if I need something, I can pick it up and not contaminate anything else. Okay, so the, the locking pliers are an essential on your tray at every lab session. The other thing we have, we have two cups marked D and C. D for dirty, C for clean. You wanna keep the dirty one on the dirty side, the clean one on the clean side. Don't accidentally put the clean one over here on the dirty side. So keep this over here. And you wanna make sure you've got extra needles, extra cartridges. You don't wanna to have to dig in the drawer if you actually need to give a little more anesthetic than you thought. So you have extra stuff here, you can just grab it with your cotton pliers and it's remained clean. If you don't use them, you can put them back in the drawer. And then this is for when you're done with using your cartridges, the empty cartridges and the used needles go in here until you can get them into the sharps container. And then there's one other thing I wanted to say, and that is the topical. I see this way too much, and I know I've shown you this in another video, but I'm gonna really emphasize it. 
you'll get marked down if you if I see the topical jar on your dirty tray. As soon as you put it on your dirty tray, it's contaminated. Now it has to be wiped down. There's grooves in here. It can't be wiped down very well. So this needs to stay on the clean side at all appointments and, and during lab, okay?